Hi Camp Kikoka, it's Bandit and I'm back with another craft for you today. We are going to be making bracelets with yarn. Um, and I wanted to do this one soon, especially since Mother's Day is next weekend. So if you want, you can make your mom a bracelet for Mother's Day. All right, so what we're gonna need is yarn in whatever colors you want. If you don't have yarn, you can use string too. It just might take a little longer. All right, and we're gonna need a paper towel roll. Um, you can also, if you don't wanna use yarn or don't have yarn, you can also just use markers and color right on the bracelet. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's get started. So with this paper towel roll, you can see I already cut it down the back. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it however wide I want my bracelet to be. So this is gonna be my bracelet. And see, I have enough, I can make as many as I want for me and for my mama. All right, so now this is our bracelet that we're gonna start with. I'm gonna start with this color of yarn. All right. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna tuck the little piece of yarn over the end here like this. And then I'm gonna pinch it on both sides and wrap the yarn around it, just like this. Okay, that way it holds in place without having to use glue. You can use glue if you want, it'd be, be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna shimmy that string down a little bit towards the edge of my bracelet. All right. Oops. All right, and there we go. We have the start of our bracelet. And then when we're ready to change colors, if we're gonna do more than one colored bracelet, uh, we're gonna go ahead and stop wrapping it around and you're gonna cut a little tail at the end, probably about one inch long, just like this, see? Make sure it can fit behind, you want it on the inside of your bracelet. And then you're gonna go ahead and pick out whatever color yarn you wanna use next. Apparently it's not gonna be that color because I can't find the end of the string. Okay, so now we're gonna start it the same way we started the last one. We're gonna put the little tail on the inside with the other little tail. That was the end of the first color. You're gonna hold them together. Just like this, all right? And then you're gonna start wrapping it very slowly, starting where your last color ended. And you're gonna keep going until you cover up the two little tails of the strings. All right. And like I said before, if you wanna make sure your string really doesn't go anywhere, you can use glue. And you can put glue on the inside of your bracelet so that it doesn't um, doesn't change the string on top. Okay, isn't that so pretty? All right. So I'm just gonna. Keep wrapping it until you want to change colors again or until you get to the end of your bracelet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this string and wrap it until there's about 
an inch left like before. See, it's gonna hang down on the inside of your bracelet. And then we're gonna grab the next color we're changing to. And you're also gonna put the little tail in on the inside of the bracelet, just like this, so they're together. And you're gonna hold it and very carefully wrap your new string around to hold the tails of the last color and the new color in place. See? Oops. Just like this. So that your new color holds the old color in place. All right. All right, campers, I'm going to use a little bit of tape for now, but you should use glue so that it stays. Um, just going to take a little piece and tape the very last string that I was working with to the inside of my bracelet so that it won't unravel. Okay. So now we have the main part of our bracelet. See? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another piece of string, probably about probably about this long, about a about a foot. You probably won't need all of it, but it's better better to have a little bit extra just in case. So on the inside of my bracelet, on the one end that I just um, was putting tape on, I'm going to add this piece of string in there with that tape to hold it still. It's going to hang out like this in the tape. And now what I'm going to do with this piece is this is going to be the piece that holds my bracelet on my wrist. So I'm going to take it and the first, the end of this string is going to go under the first string on the other side of your bracelet. So it's taped on this end and I'm going to put it underneath the first string on this side on the inside of my bracelet. I'm going to pull it through just like this. Now I can put it on and then you can just pull it tighter just like that. And if you want to make it so you can slide it on and off, you can just make it this, make it fit over this part of your hand right here and tighten it here and then you can just tie this piece right in a knot. so that it can't get any bigger or smaller. See, all right, and then I'm just gonna slip it on. And there we have our bracelet. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the extra string. All right, and there we have it. We have a lovely string bracelet, ta-da! All right, I hope you guys have fun making your bracelets and sharing this with your family. Make some bracelets for your mom, for your sister. Make plenty for yourself and have lots of fun. And show us what all your bracelets look like at the end by posting them underneath this video for us all to see. All right, thanks Camp Kokoka. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!